Alright, Hazo, the One Punch Man. I was eating some brunch and I had a hunch that he'll probably throw a punch. So make sure to crunch or Mihoyo, you bunch, will never get to lunch. Let's go over his abilities. His normal attacks. Hazo is a man of the law, so when he sees you committing a crime, he'll legally punch you until you don't exist anymore. <laughs> legally, of course. The jabs, the kicks, all generates wind energy, but that's not because of this power of irresponsibility. <laughs> Heizo will never use that because he's responsible and that's just a decoration. He generates wind from his moves because he's just that strong. Watch, I can do this too. Then why is the multiplier on his normal attack so low? Said Timmy. Guys, that's very simple. That's because Heizo is holding back on purpose. Because if someone can just deal massive damage with a simple move, <laughs> that's illegal. Heizo's a detective. He'll never commit a crime like that. That's why he defeats his enemies legally. Elemental skill. Coco! Hazo charges up his fist with the power of responsibility because he's responsible. And because this move is so strong, he lets these convicts hit him for a good minute while he's charging up his move. Oh, what the f- I'll get you back for that, you son of a bitch. Man, what a legally responsible person. But since assaulting an officer on duty is a serious and unforgivable crime, Hazo can now legally neutralize the convicts. <laughs> legally, of course. The cool thing about this move is definitely the stack. Each stack has a name. I will kill legally. If four of these words are present, Hazo gains a massive buff called conviction. Literally, I didn't make that up. It was really convenient to make this part of the video. It increases the radius and the damage of this punch for legal purposes, of course. Hey, 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 sis and mage. What do you call a convict's least favorite clip? <laughs> Consequences. <laughs> Laugh. Hey, 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 Wobberflower. What do you call a convict falling off a cliff? Oh, you sucks. I was just too fucking trunk. I was gonna say condescending. Hey, 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 Mago Kanki. How does a convict say his last words? With conviction, bitch. Give me my 10 seconds back. Elemental burst. Hazo swiftly jumps up with his own leg muscles, not the wind because that's irresponsible, then kicks so hard, he creates a vacuum blast to destroy the- Neutralize the convicts. This vacuum blast is so powerful it sucks up the enemies. Slightly. Not too much though, because that would mean he's using the power of irresponsibility and he's the man of the law. He would never do that. And another interesting thing about this very cool ability is that the convicts hit with this vacuum blast is applied with a very tiny and weak non-lethal bomb that infuses with other elements. Yeah, we legally had to call this a bomb and it might be a bit of a red flag for some people, but don't worry guys, this bomb was reviewed and approved by the very trustworthy lawyer Yan Fei and she quotes OBJECTION to the fact that this is illegal, which means this is very legal. So his passives, since Heizo is a very busy man, sometimes instead of charging up for his Falcom PAWN he just swirls the criminals to gain his stacks, which of course are all of the opponents he faces 100% guilty, very legal process. Moving on to his second passive, since Heizo is such a strong and capable detective, he provides AD elemental mastery for everyone in his team except for himself because he knows that too much power can only lead to destruction. Lastly, his third passive is something that we've never seen before, it decreases the team's stamina consumption when running. Wait, what? Get the fuck out of here or all of you guys are illegal. Never seen before. So now let's go over his artifact equipment. If this man of the law fell out of the sky when you only start this game recently, you go with these three. This one increases your chance to hit their balls legally. This one lets Hazo use his vision just a little bit when he's using his legally. And this one lets you go aura, 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 aura legally. 
with Brass Knuckles. If you were present on this game for a while, then we have a few choices, but for legal reasons, we'll only have three. Here they are. What everyone's probably going to use, what some people who like Taco Punch is gonna use, and lastly, what people who really loves Taco gonna use. So let's look at the normie option. This artifact set is called the You'll See 20 Maiden Sets Before Me. How fucking dare you? This increases Hazel's responsibility damage and swirl damage while also decreasing the enemy's elemental resistance based on the element you swirled them with. So the set is for just consecutively punching your enemies mindlessly for the joy of taking a life. For Elemental Mastery, if you wish to hone your muscle strength so that each of your punching damage feels like a real punishment for the convicts, you grab the two-piece Fuck Your Resin set and the two-piece of these four, because their two-piece effects are all the same, even though we don't have a five-star two-piece skill damage boost, which I personally think is illegal. Then the last set. This is the four-piece Thunder Fury. This is the set that Hazo uses when he is going against a horde of unforgivable war criminals when there's too many of them. And since Hazo thinks they're too far gone for redemption, that that's when he decides to equip the set to obliterate them as often as possible. Legally. Oh wow, I almost forgot to say that. There is a flaw to the set though. Let me explain how the set works in a very simple manner. Let's say Convict Ass has Electra on them and Convict Butt has Hydra on them. When Hazel swirls Convict Ass, that Electro Swirl is gonna spread and react with Convict Butt with Hydro. Then they'll go <laughs> We're dying. <laughs> Hazel made that electro reaction and safely neutralized the convict legally while also reducing the cooldown of his <laughs> But if it's just convict ass, then all Hazel can do is swirl, which means no electro reactions, which means no convicts going <laughs> Help me. Which means no cooldown reduction. So this build won't work when you're dealing with bosses, which are sometimes in the abyss. Illegally. Now for artifact stats. We have the triple elemental mastery for the basic bitch for the casual civilians or the casual DPS crit builds. Sorry about that guys, looks like my audio is a little corrupted today. <laughs> For those who still don't understand how strong Elta Mastery is or just don't know about it in general, I'll make this a very simple explanation. Elta Mastery, EM for short, is a stat in this game that increases reaction damage. The multiplier on Elta Mastery are usually pretty high, yeah, pretty high. So electrocution, chemical explosions, frostbite, chemical storm, all of these torture methods, truth detectors, will be more efficient in doing their jobs. Another thing you need to keep in mind is that swirl damage is heavily based on your character's level, ignores enemies' defenses, and it also can't crit, which is kind of fair, and it makes things a lot easier when you're farming for Elemental Mastery artifacts. And since Hazel creates wind with his punches, you can swirl quite often as you'd like, which is why this torture Elemental Mastery build is recommended. Very helpful when Hayes is trying to find out the truth. But there are still things called ICD, internal cooldowns, which put a cooldown on how often you can create reactions, which is what I call fucking annoying. If you're not a fan of that method or you somehow have more crit related artifacts like me, then crit is honestly fine. And personally, I like punching the shit out of things and I think it's a very fun way to play Genshin Impact. Legally! Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to say it again. Now let's get into Hazo's favorite books and rocks. This one is the best, since the ability is consistent, but I hate it because the physical damage from this book isn't like how my friend did it back in elementary school with his textbook. This one requires a strong shield to hit pretty hard, which is ironic since this was from someone who used to be Zhongli's girlfriend. This one wants you to stay on the field for 16 seconds to receive the maximized buff, as if the people who made this didn't know that every second in the abyss was worth your mental health. But the crit rate is pretty good. This one's just great with high crit damage, but you won't be able to maximize its ability because it was literally designed for one character, unless you're using 4-piece thunder Fury. This one is just a fucking joke. This one's a 4 star book for some reason because the reviewer of this book is a goddamn boomer, but the crit damage is great and the ability is amazing providing Hazo the ability to destroy, pulverize, and despair legally. This one is overall super consistent with damage which also provides you with high crit rate, but it's locked behind this thing called your parents credit card information, so good luck sneaking at night time so you can snatch that thing while they're sleeping. This one has crit damage and the ability doesn't work when there's only one asshole on the field, but it's free because that's how much your soul is worth apparently. This one just shows 
blows up whenever you summon for characters and pisses you off even more, but pretty nice for Hazo, who just loves to use his various torture methods. This one's basically free, and there are various ways to obtain it. Either go AFK for a month or so, and this game will give it to you, or you can breathe in that good sweet copium and hope one of these assholes will drop that prototype copy for you, but it's a pretty good weapon for Hazo. This one looks like it's good, but it's not, and you have to go into a time machine and convince your past self to go into this rabbit hole game earlier than you did. Moving on to teams. This is not too hard to figure out when you're trying to use Hazo as a torture elemental mastery driver. You just need two elements for the reaction you're going for, and the last spot can be filled with a healer or a shield unit, whatever you feel safe with. Most of the reaction teams that you're probably going to use are mostly electro units, and I probably repeated their names so many times in my other videos, I'm just going to put up their pictures instead. Electro Charge, in my opinion, was the easiest and most consistent choice for Hazo, because most of the electro units can spam their abilities, which means more energy for the one punch murderer. Man. But Hazo's Q, like, <sighs> it just, just. That doesn't fucking put them together, it's annoying. So you might want a crowd control unit for help. Overload was also pretty fun, letting this menace deal big chunks of damage, clearing the enemies quickly, but I guess the one thing I have a problem with is that since Hazo can't pull in his enemies as much as these three, having Bennett on the team for buffing wasn't really buffing, because these assholes are always at the very edge of the circle. Freeze! This was fun to use as well. The fact that this heavy punch can't shatter just because he's a catalyst is pretty fun to watch, and it's super consistent. But personally, I prefer CC with elemental infusion when it comes to freeze. Also, Hazel doesn't think it's satisfying when he can't shatter his victims no matter how hard he punches them. Then lastly, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The wetter, the buffer, and emotional support. Then of course, the strongest man in the world. Speaking of the strongest man in the world, I have something to tell you guys. Hazo, the man of the law, the rightful detective, was in fact... Illegal. Ha 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 ha. You think Yan Fei said? Objection! Because she was objecting to the illegal terms of the non-lethal bomb? Ha <laughs> ha. That was a recording of when she was threatened by that very thing. You think Hazo was strong enough to actually make wind out of his punching force? Ha <laughs> ha. Ha uh -huh. ha. He was using that power of irresponsibility this entire time. You think I actually made that thing fall with my fist alone? <laughs> I'm a weak bitch. I blew that. You see, Hazo did some investigating, and he has learned that the people he helps are mindless, ungrateful beings that makes your job more difficult and rewards you jack shit. Then he realized his fist that severs the heavens and cracks the earth, which also makes him money, food, and some other annoying shit, can provide him with the strength where nothing can get in his way. So let's make some new rules. Fire plant thing, your whole concept just doesn't make sense. Illegal. Fuck you, ice plant thing, your whole concept also doesn't make sense. Illegal. There's too many of you. Illegal. You let this pussy ass control you. Illegal. Wait, you're immune to my punch? <gasps> illegal! You're nothing without oxygen. Shut up. You're illegal for reproducing those. Die. You're illegal because I never come here anymore. Aw, look at that doggy. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Illegal! You take 10 seconds to stand up. Illegal! I'm too lazy to fight you, any of a shield, so uh, yeah, you're illegal. Go to war, damn it. Illegal. Why does this exist? Illegal. Senora, good job. Oh, how dare you! You're illegal! Why does it take 8 minutes to regenerate resin? Illegal. Tencent? The game company that scammed me for a year when I was playing this one game that was based on an anime that was all about punching, but when I was trying to get a 6 star that was worth 150 shards, it forced me to beg my guildmates that I couldn't communicate with for his 2 shards on a daily basis for over a year just to complete his final copy? Illegal. And you. Why would you stand on the only entrance to the country and blame everyone for walking by and scaring the birds away while you're the one cheating your way there and pulling out your dad card to guilt trip everyone? You're illegal! Holy shit, that's it. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitch. Uh, we'll be streaming there for the new event, which I still haven't done yet. So uh, go check that out, I guess. We also have a Discord server. All that is going to be available in the description below. See you guys later. Bye, guys.